Well, good Thursday afternoon, everyone. We're looking at another quiet weather day, but we are seeing some increased cloud cover associated with the system. An upper level load that's spinning over parts of the Carolinas, parts of eastern Tennessee. It's really been sitting here about all week, so we've had a lot of rain in the southeast part of the country up to the, about the mid-Atlantic. So far, we have been spared from the rain, but the system is going to lift north weaken as it does so, but it will bring some more moisture our way and the opportunity for some showers late tonight and tomorrow. We're not expecting a washout for Friday, but there is at least a chance, especially tomorrow morning versus the afternoon, to get in on some showers out there. Temperature-wise, we're held down because of more clouds. Temperatures warmest to the northwest again, where we have a little bit more sun. 72 degrees for Defiance, 70 in Lima. We have 66 in Bell Fountain. So, Overall, it's a very pleasant day as we take a look, um, you know, outside of the United States toward the uh, Atlantic here, the warm Atlantic waters already fueling some tropical activity. You know, typically we don't see a lot of tropical activity until we get toward August, September, but we are only in June and we have Tropical Storm Brett that's going to be tracking westward. Expected to remain a tropical storm as it tracks across the Windward Islands there and then across portions there of, of the coast. We're going to see again the possibility of some pretty gusty winds as that storm moves through, but luckily missing a lot of the main islands there. Looking at our almanac for today, the average high 82 degrees. So yesterday we had highs that were actually slightly above normal, but today because of the clouds, we're going to be held down a good really about eight degrees away from the average high for this afternoon. Looking at our skycast, we note mostly cloudy skies, but really we should be dry outside of a sprinkle. You should be good to go for any outdoor plans this afternoon and this evening, but it's after midnight tonight. We start to see some showers creep in over the southeast part of the area. You notice that upper level circulation that counterclockwise flow as the rain moves in. So instead of rain coming in from the west like we would normally see, you want to look to the east because that's where the rain will actually be coming from. So kind of an odd direction there. As we look tomorrow morning, we see the rain backing up from the east toward the west. Again, we're going to see a lot of that activity Lima east and south. If you're north and west, don't count on getting rain. It is not a slam dunk. You guys will get rain up there as a lot of that will stay just off to the east and then the weekend. As we get towards tomorrow midday, the shower is becoming more hit and miss. So the bottom line is it's not going to rain all day tomorrow, but there will be showers around. Again, more coverage in the morning, becoming more spotty as the afternoon wears on. And as we head throughout Friday night, we'll even start to get some gradual clearing in there. We'll look at rainfall totals here. Again, I think most of us a quarter inch or less. There could be a few very localized spots that get a little bit more than that. But overall, I don't think it'll go too far as far as erasing our deficit in the rainfall department. So heading into the weekend, if you're looking for some warmer weather to come back, well, it does look like that will be the case. Saturday, up to 83 degrees. Chance for a stray thunderstorm, but we'll have more sunshine, kind of muggy out there, so kind of typical summer weather. And then Sunday, we're up to 87 degrees, a lot of humidity around, and that humidity will make the atmosphere more unstable. So by Sunday afternoon, as a front starts to approach the area, uh, that could be just enough to provide lift for showers and thunderstorms to develop. It'll be sc scattered, but there could be a couple stronger storms in there, possibly Sunday afternoon through Sunday night. So we'll stay weather aware for that and just keep an eye as we get a little bit closer. We get uh, more confidence as far as how that system will evolve for us. So for tonight, I mentioned showers begin to roll in, especially late and especially for the southeast half of our area. Let's check out that seven day forecast again. If you have weekend plans, a a lot of the time will be fine. I think Saturday, it's just an isolated storm or two. Most of us should remain dry. Again, the better chance will arrive Sunday in the afternoon through Sunday night. And we'll keep some scattered showers around for Monday as well. So again, a few opportunities. It'll be hit and miss, but some opportunities for some rain and we turn drier by the middle of next week. Hopefully with all these opportunities, we catch a few of them to... Exactly. Yeah. That's the hope. All right. Coming